Hello and welcome back. This is problem C vacations from at Koda Educational DP contest. The problem states that Taro's summer vacation starts tomorrow and he has decided to make plans for it now. The vacation consists of n days. For each of the n days between 1 and n, Taro will choose one of the following activity and do it on the 8th day. He can either swim, catch bugs or do homework and each of them have some points of happiness AI, BI and CI depending on which day he chooses to perform that particular activity and the condition here mentioned is that he cannot do the same activities for two or more consecutive days that means he will do some activity then on the next day then he cannot do the same activity so this is not valid because we he did two activities on the consecutive day same activities on the consecutive day even this is not valid because two or more consecutives are not allowed and uh, we need to find the maximum possible total points um, that he can gain the constraints for nn the points of happiness are as follows now let's look at the construction point of view since uh, we need to know what kind of construction we are performing for this dynamic programming solution so, uh, so it's obvious that we need to construct a sequence of n characters and let's say c1 c2 c3 all the way up to cn is the sequence that we want to construct and each of this ci is either a b or c which is the activity which he will try to do on the eighth day and these are the choices available to us so on eighth day we have three choices either to perform the first second or the third activity and if we perform the activity a on the eighth day we will get ai points of happiness bi if the b, b activity is performed and ci if activity c is performed and these are the possible choices available to us while we construct this construction next up the constraint of the construction as mentioned in the question is that no two consecutive activities are performed on alternate days so on consecutive days we cannot perform the same activities so it is asked to perform the activity so that ci is not equals to c i minus 1 for i greater than equals to 2 this is the constraint that we need to follow over the entire construction now let's try to understand how we will solve this so since we are since we will try to construct this sequence from left to right we will try to construct c1 first then c2 then c3 and so on all the way up to cn hence it is important to know what is the index of which activity we are going to perform on a particular day so on id day we need to know what is the activity that we need to perform or assign it to the player and notice that if we are going to assign some since there are three choices at any day and also the constraint of construction needs to be followed that means we need to know what is the last activity that was performed that means this should also be stored in the state 
so we will store two information first is the day of activity that we need to assign the player and the last activity that was performed by the player so last activity is the activity he did on day id minus one if we know these two information we can easily find out or consider all possible choices at a particular index id so to evaluate this we since we are evaluating the sum of happiness this is a summation of either ai bi or ci so it is either ai bi or ci over the choices from i equals to 1 to n and also the constraint needs to be followed so to evaluate that we need to this the recurrence function must return the sum of values this is what we are trying to evaluate from the recurrence now one more thing to note here is what all choices do we have so let's try to understand that so we are let's say we are currently at index id and the last activity performed was activity a in that case so it the sequence must have been something like this he performed activity a on this day if this is id day and then on the previous day he performed activity a then the choices that are available on this day are only b and c because you cannot perform the same activity again and we can restrict the choices to these two and this is how we are going to consider all the possible choices depending on what was previously chosen now to find out the recurrence relation we say that let's say go of id comma let's say the previous activity is denoted by previous denotes the since we want to find minimum or maximum maximum possible total points so this denotes maximum points if you want to assign the activities from index id all the way up to n and the previous activity is stored in this state which is the second state of this function now go of id previous would be maximum between all of the possible choices let's say the choices are a b and c which is iterated over by this variable and c is not equals to the previous activity so if we iterate over all of these possible choices we will end up with some choice which would be assigned at index id so this was previous index id minus one for index id we will have some choices c from here and after assigning it we will let's first understand what cost is added before calling the next recurrence so the cost added would be either aibi or ci let's say if c is equals to a in that case it would be a of id and let's write that letter if it is b it would be b id if it is c it could be this thing now after we have assigned an activity on index id 
then we need to assign the activity from index id plus one hence the parameter of this recurrence the first parameter becomes id plus one for all of them and since we assigned some activity at index id that becomes the previous activity for index id plus one hence the second parameter is c this is the final recurrence relation and let's now implement this in c plus plus uh, i've initialized dp array to store whether a particular state is visited or not by storing minus one as a non-visited state we input n and the costs of individual activities so zero is the cost for activity a one is the cost for activity p and two denotes the cost for activity c instead of using this variable we have using we have used zero one and two uh, now we will call the recursive function starting from index id equals to one which denotes the choices all from c1 c2 all the way up to cn we are first trying to fix what is the activity that needs to be performed on the first day and since there is nothing behind this we can send any dummy activity which is invalid since the activities are only in the range 0 to 2 but I am sending here 3 so that it is always valid that whatever you put here it is never equals to what was previously chosen as an activity next let, let's look at the function this is the index current index and this is the previous activity it is either 0 1 or 2 if we reach the end that means we have constructed the entire choices from c1 to cn and we can stop the choices and return 0 say stating that uh, there is no more values that needs to be added as the score of happiness this is for checking whether the state is already visited if it is visited we can simply return the answer and next up we can iterate over what activity we should perform on the id-th day we iterate over what should be performed which is the values in the range 0 and 2 which is same as activity a b or c if that activity is different from the previous then it will be considered in the answer and the cost for that activity will be added which is these values and after that cost is added the remaining portion will contribute from index id plus one and the tps activity for index id plus one will be the activity which we assigned in this state so previous for the next state would be the value that we assigned in the current state after this is maximized we will return the final answer from this state and this is how the entire computation will look like the time complexity for this approach is a uh, number of unique values for id is order n and this can only take order 3 because there are three possible values here and the iteration also takes order 3 which is constant time hence the overall time complexity would be order n that's it about this video if you found this useful or if you have any doubts or suggestions do let me know in the comments thank you